put it in and out of the house. And then I got the another pepper right there, and then I got the two watermelons I just put in today, and then I got the beans all the way down the line and over there. And there's the corn or the tops of the onions. They go all the way down the line there, and then I got those are my Yukon but gold potatoes. They coming down here. And then I got my corn right here. They're just popped up. They're about three or four inches. Right there. So I got them all. I've been spreading them out to where they don't get too close to each other. But there's about 30 corn stalks. But I'll have no more time so on this thing, so I'll send it to you. All right, looky here, Bob man. I got them cucumbers over here. You got them going up at the pole. I got about four like that, and then I got these bunch of smaller ones I, I planted myself later on. Then I got another couple cucumbers right here, and then I got a tomato plant over here in the bucket. And then there's two big old tomato plants that I grew. And then right there, I got one of one tomato, <laughs> small tomato coming out. There's a couple flowers. I gotta hurry this up because I don't know. Wow. Then I got some uh, peppers, and these are ones I planted a little later on. Tomato, them are the um, tomatoes. That one right there died a couple times. I don't know what it's gonna do, but I put it in and out of the house. Then I got the another pepper right there, and then I got the two watermelons I just put in today, and then I got the beans all the way down the line and over there. And there's the corn or the tops of the onions. They go all the way down the line there, and then I got those are my Yukon but gold potatoes. They coming down here, and then I got my corn right here. They're just popped up. They're about three or four inches. Right there. So I got them all. I've been spreading them out to where they don't get too close to each other. But there's about 30 corn stalks. But I'll have no more time so on this thing, so I'll send it to you. All right, looky here, Bob man. I got them cucumbers over here. You got them going up at the pole. I got about four like that, and then I got these bunch of smaller ones I, I planted myself later on. Then I got another couple cucumbers right here, and then I got a tomato plant over here in the bucket. And then there's two big old tomato plants that I grew. And then right there, I got one of one tomato, <laughs> small tomato coming out. There's a couple flowers. I gotta hurry this up because I don't know. Wow. Then I got some uh, peppers, and these are ones I planted a little later on. Tomato, them are the um, tomatoes. That one right there died a couple times. I don't know what it's gonna do, but I put it in and out of the house. Then I got the another pepper right there, and then I got the two watermelons I just put in today, and then I got the beans all the way down the line and over there. And there's the corn or the tops of the onions. They go all the way down the line there, and then I got those are my Yukon but gold potatoes. They coming down here, and then I got. <laughs> Look at me, you won't see me in TikTok Grandpa's garden. <laughs>
Hello, folks. I uh, usually put my tomatoes at the windows, so like that. <clears throat> See, I usually pull them off a little early because it's this year. My tomatoes are like deformed. I don't know what causes that. These are really good tomatoes, but you have to like cut around all the garbage, you know. And uh, I put calcium in the tomatoes to hopefully see if they're doing better, but it, it just seems as though the tomatoes this year are just not doing as well as last year. But they are, you know, I'm still growing them, but they look, all of them look like they're tomatoes from a black, black lagoon or some shit, you know. If anybody knows what this is, tell me. Put it in and out of the house. And then I got the, another pepper right there. And then I got the two watermelons I just put in today. And then I got the beans all the way down the line and over there. And there's the, cor or the tops of the onions. They go all the way down the line there. And then I got those of my Yukon gold potatoes they're coming down here and then I got my corn right here they just popped up they're about three or four inches right there so I got them all I've been spreading them out to where they don't get too close to each other but there's about 30 corn stalks but I don't have no more time so on this thing, so I'll send it to you. And that's two. And there's three underneath that. See that little small sucker? See that dial? And then it goes right over there. And then we got the biggest one is the softball size one right here, right there. I have to keep it under these leaves so it don't get burned up. And there's another smaller one. Every time I look, I see a bunch of some. back of the greenhouse um everything's you know you can see over here this is getting bigger the cucumbers those tomatoes are still green i do not know why i <laughs> don't don't understand it now here's some more of those tomato small tomato start startups that i just put down in there looking pretty good this is the one that started growing on its own it's starting to do really well this one's starting to do, I pulled a lot of the weeds off and new ones started growing up and it looks like a new plant. Right here is some more tomato plants. Or over here is the beans, man, and they just a dead sun gun. And there's the real good ones in that cooler. I, I really think that was a good idea putting these in a the cooler because they don't get too cold, they don't get too hot. Pretty nice. Hey, greetings from the garden inside of the greenhouse. Looky here. Look at some tomatoes go. Ah, I planted. These started sprouting today. Yay! There's two of them. These guys are going in right now. But we got hopes. Well, that's a weak little son of a bitch right there, but I put it in the cooler, so. Hopefully, if they don't recover, I'll plant more stuff. Nice. 
to the tiny toes. These are the, look so daggone healthy. This is the healthiest plant I've got. Besides the new one, of course. This one right here. Just start growing on its own. Big deal, man. I tell you, I love it. These are some of the few things I've left over this summer. <laughs> There's a pepper plant. There's the watermelon, the lone watermelon plant. Two green beans plants. Uh, here's my compost. It's, uh, I dumped it over so I could mix it up a little bit. Yeah, see what happens. I put all my cute, every all my plants and eggshells and coffee grinds and stuff. And there's my cucumbers. They're just popping up again. Hopefully they'll last through the season, which would be cool. Yeah, those are the old ones, the old cucumbers. And there's the tomato plant doing well. There is the beans. Well, let's go to the greenhouse today. See what we got going on. <sighs> this one worries me a little bit. It's ever since I put that fungicide on it, it looks a little different. Three underneath that. See that little small sucker? That dial. And then it goes right over there. And then we got the biggest one is the softball size one. Right here. Right there. I have to keep it under these leaves so it don't get burned up. And there's another smaller one. Every time I look, I see a bunch of some. Put it in and out of the house. And then I got the, another pepper right there. And then I got the two watermelons I just put in today. And then I got the beans all the way down the line and over there. And there's the, cor or the tops of the, onions they go all the way down the line there and then i got those are my yukon but gold potatoes they're coming down here and then i got my corn right there they just popped up they're about three or four inches right there so i got them all i've been spreading them out to where they don't get too close to each other but there's about 30 corn stalks but I'll have no more time so on this thing so I'll send it to you back out here winding watermelons again got any haven't got any of my beans popping up yet but they're late beans we got these big old tomatoes. Love tomatoes. This has been a pretty good garden this year. I hopefully can get it when I get that up. I don't know how much longer it'll last after that, but hopefully into the winter. And then I got my compost. Got my corn and stuff in the compost here. But it's been fun this year. Just as I was talking, I know there's one bean popping up. And, uh, I don't see any more. Look at me, you won't see me in TikTok Grandpa's garden. <laughs> one. And that's two. And there's three underneath that. See that little small sucker? That dial. And then it goes right over there. Got the biggest one is the softball size one right here, right there. I have to keep it under these leaves so it don't get burnt up. And there's another smaller one. Every time I look, I see a bunch of some. <laughs> Bob man, I got 
them cucumbers over here. We got them going up at the pole. I got about four like that, and then I got these bunch of smaller ones I, I planted myself later on. Then I got another couple cucumbers right here, and then I got a tomato plant over here in the bucket. And then there's two big old tomato plants that I grew. And then right there, I got one of one tomato, <laughs> small tomato coming out. There's a couple flowers. I gotta hurry this up because I don't know. How. Then I got some peppers. And these are ones I planted a little later on. Tomato, them are the um, tomatoes. That one right there died a couple times. I don't know what it's gonna do. But I put it in and out of the house. Then I got the, another pepper right there, and then I got the two watermelons I just put in today. And then I got the beans all the way down the line and over there. And there's the, cor or the tops of the onions. They go all the way down the line there. And then I got those of my Yukon but gold potatoes. They're coming down here. And then I got...